Okay, and on to the third and final round of the 2016 World Championships held in Benson, Oxfordshire. And to quote Terry Griffiths from the 1979 World Snooker Championships, I'm in the final now. So it's all very exciting. I was a few points behind, well, quite a few points behind uh, Simon, who I know very well from our years on the Impetus Tour, playing those tournaments. And uh, there's a lot of stick going on back and forth between us. I used to do pretty well in those tournaments. <laughs> And um, we were winding each other up and really getting into it. And because of the overall point situation, for me to win the tournament, I need to win this, well, not massively, but fairly well, you know, by at least a good few points. So I need to be aggressive and really looking forward to this game up against Sassanids. It's a cavalry army, so possibly the worst matchup for me so far. Although the Mongols are pretty cavalry as well, and that went okay. Um, I don't have the exact Sassanid list here, but it's basically a mix of uh, medium cavalry. I was just by everything shooting, and there's light cavalry there as well. If you haven't seen it before, there's my army list again. Two big groups basically of knights with some light cavalry to cover them, and the odd foot unit to do some guard duty <clears throat> and plug any gaps. So uh, we put out the scenery, and again I've gone for my two rivers, this worked twice, let's try it three times. So I've got the rivers to cover my flanks, hopefully I can bash my way through. Simon's just filled it with obstacles, just to make it a bit more difficult for my cavalry charge. I had to pick my way through all that lot. Uh, I've got my parallel road again, just to try and... Um, well, I should be using that road to give myself some extra width, really, and pick a flank, I think, rather than funneling everything through the middle. Uh, we plonked all the cards down, don't need to show all this, but I thought I would. Just give an idea of the scenery. You, roll, you put a card in each one, according to the suit and the number, something happens to it. And this is what happened with ours. <laughs> Almost everything came off. This does happen sometimes. Um, so you see now I've got pretty much that open run I wanted down the middle, but also there's open flanks. We've both got cavalry armies. He's more mobile than me, has more units. The worry all my, always with my Teutonics because of the way the break system and the points work. I, I break quite about seven points, I think it is. So I've got to be careful on that front. But I really need to um, smash through and go for the win. My worry is because of the overall point situation, Simon's in a healthy lead, doesn't really need to win this. He can just stand off, shoot, keep moving around, maneuver me, pick away, and. Um, Get enough points to win the tournament basically whether he wins the game or not so this is my concern i really want to close i know simon's style he's gonna ha want to have a go as well and uh <laughs> we're really having a, a good old go at each other off the table and it's uh real top level great to see someone like this in the final someone you know well enjoy playing he's a good player he's very sharp uh he's got all that humor he used to be in the army and everything <laughs> and uh, off we go so there, we jumped a little bit there, deployment and first move. I need to worry the Sassanids have come hurtling straight at me. See all my guys still at the back rank. I had one tricky thing to negotiate was that the, the rules of deployment, you can't overlap. So my light infantry, you still see them down the bottom there, the skirmishes, they're supposed to go into the camp. But I couldn't do it because that would put them overlap in the other unit. Or they have to be connected to something from their own command. So I've ended up, I need to do a bit of shuffling around uh, just to cover my back door a bit. Apart from that, I'm lining up those cavalry in the middle and thinking, right, it's a straight uh, charge off. That's what I want. Let's get stuck into each other. So lots of uh, bases coming off, lots of points being scored. And hopefully I get my third decisive win and take the tournament. So uh, another look at the Sassanid army. Very nice army. Nice job by Simon there. You can see it's a combination of different cavalry. And the light cavalry is spinning around in a nuisance. And here comes my cavalry, and straight away I've got an ace. So I don't get to move my light cavalry out to cover the flank. And this command's a bit stuck where it is. That's the luck of the game sometimes. But the other half of my army, the other command has gone lurching forward. And the medium cavalry can also evade. He's made that evade move, so I've followed up. I've kept going and going. You don't need impetuous rules when I've got cavalry in front of me, they're going to go. Um, we're trying to burst our way through there, and I think if I can land a couple of unsaved hits and destroy that unit, I've got a clear run through the middle. I can turn and take the flanks out of these cavalry. I can go for the camp. 
it's all looking like this could be a decisive game. And shooting is so ineffective, Jeremy, in, in to the strongest. You know, I've gone whole games of shooting and neither side did anything. So I'm hoping my cavalry there can hold out. I'd like to got more activations. I had the low cards, went for it, you know, with the general and everything. But um, that's it for those guys. Right, so the, the next bit's a little bit of a blur because the, um, you see the light cavalry has diagonaled around that uh, swamp and shot at the red heavy cavalry. And sure enough, they've hit. I think I film a save. You see a scattering of cards there. How many saves I'm to make because it's shooting at me, shooting at me. And there's a lot of low cards in there. In fact, there's enough low cards because I think the next thing that happened then, the medium cavalry came in and I think they fought around a melee and won and destroyed the red cavalry. And now I have a completely open gap uh, right in front of my camp. So after me disparaging shooting and all the games of this game, of TTS I've ever played, my, my red cavalry there just got shot up by light cav hitting on eights, followed by the medium cav hitting on eights with a shooting. And I think it was around a melee which they lost and got destroyed. There's a left. I think I'm showing actually that um, I might have got another turn in here. So it was a while ago. Uh, I got the double ace on the general's unit. So they're not going anywhere. And that's the end of that. And um, continue with the Sassanids. I was, uh, it was a final. I wasn't doing very well with taking photographs. But you'll see how the story pans out pretty quickly. Yeah, because that cavalry, the medium cavalry, went straight through the red cavalry. I think they fought around a melee, activated again and moved, which puts them right on the edge of the camp. He's also got these guys on the right who come sweeping all the way around and almost made it to the camp. They had about four activations. Um, so if that cavalry can activate once more, they move into the camp. And because he destroyed the heavy cavalry as well, and I think my units that was lurking around here was also destroyed. That would be the game. I think I've left the card on the table there as confirmation that the unit of infantry also got destroyed. <laughs> I think I've gone all day without losing any units and suddenly um, they're falling apart. So if you can just draw a nice high card, I think you need a nine or 10, you can move into the camp and then he goes and that's the game. <laughs> Devastating. I was either two or three turns, I really can't remember. I never actually got round to shifting my skirmishers, one to the right. I was so intent on all the charging. Just a one little activation, just put them in the camp. And the way I deployed, nothing in the camp. I just didn't expect it to happen so quickly. And then you get wrapped up, and of course you get a couple of aces. Maybe that's why I show the double aces. I think I'm, I, I was aware of putting the skirmishers in the camp. But the two aces, end of activations, didn't get the chance. And you always want to do the general first, because you get the second card. Anyway, whichever way I did it, it was a disaster. And um, what a thumping. So zero points to me. <laughs> a few minutes earlier, I thought I was had a chance of winning the tournament. I know I only become top three, top four even. Three round tournament to get wiped out like that was a disaster. I um, mean, it was an incredible run of activations. I mean, uh, what do they say? Never play card games with squaddies, but... Uh, no, I was being a bit harsh there because he played up very well. He had a good run of luck, but I left a chance for him. And wow. And have you ever seen such a happy face? <laughs> oh, okay, we, I was going to wipe him out. He's going to wipe me out. And all the bantams going back and forth. And he absolutely trouts me. Oh, I think he's so happy. He doesn't even need his hands to hold that cloth up. <laughs> so we're packing away and... Uh, the soldiers are back in the box and the cloths being put away. We're still chatting about it and having a laugh. I might have to say I did laugh so much throughout the game. It was, you know, it was he's a great opponent. It was great fun. If you're going to get thumped by anybody, it's him, I guess. And I'll come back for next year. The worst part, well, apart from not winning and getting thumped, was you can see in the background, the other games are just getting going. I mean, this was 15 minutes or something. It was amazingly fast. And... Um, so I'm going to hang around now for the next hour or whatever it is for the games to finish and then wait for the presentations. I always think you should wait uh, for the presentations and congratulate the winner. I was going to take a few photographs as well and I'll put um, a short video up summarising the show. What a fun day it was. <laughs> Even if it did end in disaster. So there you go. My uh, fabulous record. Gone. Shattered. <laughs> and But I'll be back for next year. And I do promise I'll put the games up much quicker next year, much sooner, I should say. And I've got another practice game coming up next week, 
with good old Roger because I haven't decided what to go with yet. I mean, having watched these again and done the reports, it'd be quite good fun to get the Teutonic Knights out again. I don't know if the list has changed, most of the list has changed over the last year. Um, but I'm enjoying playing with the Romans. They don't have the mobility of the Teutonic Knights. And I remember last year I was very keen to get results, win or lose, and I, I certainly did that. So, <laughs> big win and a hell of a loss. Um, so maybe the Romans, I want to try them out one more time just to see if they can force results in the, the time you get in the tournament. So maybe Roger and I will even get two games in if we uh, crack on and start early. And I'll post those up as soon as they're ready. So um, the great thing about war games as opposed to real wars is even when you do get wiped out, you do get to come back and fight another day. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please comment, um, cry, sympathy, laugh. Laugh is probably the best. And um, I'll see you again soon. Hope you enjoyed it. And keep rolling or drawing. Just keep playing. <laughs>